How do we measure someone's weight? We can make him sit on a spring and measure the compression force. Or we can make him hang on a spring and measure the tension force. This is how balances are used to measure gravitational forces indirectly. But this method works only if the weighing is done with everything at rest. If you are at a pose, a resting object is truly at rest. The net force is zero, so spring force is equal to the gravitational pull. What we measure is the true weight. If we are on the equator, a resting object is actually moving along a circular path, and circular motion requires a centripetal net force. This means the spring force must be smaller than the gravitational pull by an amount equal to the required centripetal force. What we measure is the apparent weight. But because the Earth's rotation is quite slow, the centripetal force turns out to be only 0.4% of the gravitational pull. So when we weigh ourselves on the equator, what we get is about 99.6% of our true weight. If the Earth were to rotate about 16 times faster, the required centripetal force would be approximately 100% of the gravitational pull. Everything on the equator will be apparently weightless. And you can apparently lose any fraction of your weight by moving yourself to the correct latitude.